I can't even lie. People don't give a shit about you. <laughs> what they give a shit about is what you're offering them. Father Lord. If they find a replacement for you, you are going to be replaced, whether you like it or not. What's up, my babies? Welcome back to my channel. Person Song by you absolutely welcome. In today's video, obviously, as you can see, I'm looking ready to go. <laughs> my to be like a sneak. I'm looking set. I'm ready to go for somebody's wedding, okay? In this video, I'm obviously bringing you this gorgeous, gorgeous hair from Julia Hair. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to obviously do my baby hairs. I'm not doing like a full hair install or anything, so bear with me, don't worry about that. It's now going to be just me styling my hair. And obviously, I styled it this way to match my outfit because this is like a get ready me video. I'll show you guys everything in the outfits, everything at the end of the video, so don't worry about that. But yeah. During this video, we're going to be doing a little chit chat because obviously this is my G Central. You know the vibes? So, anyways, during the video, I'm going to be updating you guys on a lot of things. So, definitely stick to the end. But, anyways, I'll definitely see you in my next video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, every single detail about the hair is going to be linked down below. So, definitely check it out if you're interested. I love it. I have a new, fresh week installed i didn't want this to be an installation video because i just felt like yeah i've done too many installation videos for you guys at this point so i don't want it to be repetitive but we're going to talk about a few things not anything gossipy or opinionated no i feel like i've been talking so much about things that don't make sense things that are not revolving around my channel so we'll hop right into that i'll show you guys how to my baby hairs which i told you guys i was going to show you in my previous video so that's why i went ahead to already install this week which is from julia hair this is so beautiful. I didn't even expect this to come out like this. I can't even lie. But mind you, I had to do some plucking, bleaching to the knots. So um, you might need to do that by yourself if you're a perfectionist like me when it comes to hair. So yeah, this is the reveal. I look bald, <laughs> obviously, because I, I don't have any baby hairs. And obviously because of the color as well. The color is really lovely. I've never worn a wig in this color before. So, I mean, this particular color wig, I haven't worn a wig in before i'm going to show you guys my outfit that i'll rock with this hair on i have a few things i need to discuss in this video with you guys just to clear the air on some things that i kind of feel like need to be talked about okay just go before i faint it's too hot oh. sorry i have to leave the door open like i cannot not leave the door open in this video i have to it's going to get too hot inside here okay so first of all I'm going to bring out the baby hairs with my rat tail comb. So when I'm doing baby hairs, I go in like a triangle this way and down because people usually have that very like deep cave inside the head and it kind of makes it look more natural if you ask me. I mean, that's what I think. So yeah, this is what I'm going to use for my baby hairs on this side. Also, because this hair is literally almost blending into my skin, I have to use a lot of baby hairs for it to stand out so that's why there's this much baby hairs out you can always go in and pluck i don't like to over pluck um because there are institutions where i've over plucked and you can't go back when you pluck it except you have that stuff to you know put the hair back which i do but in this video you know that's not what we're teaching so you have to make sure that everything is symmetrical so the other day i was having a, a chat with my cousin and you know we're analyzing each other's lives and all of that and i asked that question i was like Personally, I feel like my channel is everywhere. So I was like, what does she think? Like, does she think my channel is everywhere as well? Like, everywhere meaning, like, I don't really have a focus at the moment. Um, if you come if you come to my channel, you, you won't really know what exactly I do. You, you don't know if I'm doing makeup today, hair tomorrow, fashion. I guess it's a, it's a fashion, beauty, lifestyle channel. But to be honest with you, I'm not happy doing beauty as much as I, I am doing fashion stuff so on instagram i mean if you follow me on instagram and tiktok you 100 percent know that i am 80 percent fashion based and then the remaining 20 percent is like beauty and lifestyle based but like i really do want to make my youtube channel more fashion focused where i teach you guys how to style but first of all why do you think my channel is everywhere why does my cousin think my channel is everywhere because like just like i said 
there's a lot going on when you come in you don't know what exactly you're subscribing to me for and it's just everywhere i can't keep up with everything and that's why i feel like i've been burnt out a lot because i don't know what content i'm creating today or tomorrow for you guys and yeah what do i really enjoy doing on my channel to be honest like when i started youtube right i started with beauty even jokes <laughs> One of these is I react to my previous videos, my old videos, maybe one or two of them. They're actually flipping hilarious. But yeah, like when I started YouTube, I was doing a lot of uh, beauty makeup videos and all that. And the beauty era has died off if I'm being, if we're all being honest with each other. Like the beauty era has really, really died off. So many beauty YouTubers have gone to sleep. Like they've changed their channels to. Um, vlog channels and all of that. I mean, I do vlogs, but like I do more like minimal vlogs compared to like the kind of vlogs that other YouTubers in the niche I'm in, I was in, are doing. Down the line, I was not consistent. I've not been consistent for the past three years of being on YouTube. Actually, since I YouTube, I can't even lie. I've been very inconsistent with my YouTube because I just had so many issues down the line. Like I had so many things going on in my life. I had so many things I wasn't I was insecure about. I had so many things I was not happy about in my life that I kind of had to deal with. So um I was not consistent. I was barely putting out content, especially in the last two years. The last two years of my life have been really, really messy. And I feel like I've just had a very terrible time being on social media in general. And I don't think I've really enjoyed my stay on social media. So, um, because of that, I had to like reconsider what I was doing on socials. And if you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you obviously know that I was doing a lot of makeup, 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 makeup stuff. And then the moment I switched to fashion, it was like people just realized, yo, Dito has a nice sense of style. Like I actually do I, see if there's anything I can proudly say I have is a nice sense of style. Like I can, I'm that kind of person that I have imposter syndrome, and it's so bad that if someone says, "Oh, you're so good at this," I, I'm just like, eh, maybe I just try, I try. You know those uh, humble sweet vibes. No, no, no. But the problem too is like when it comes to fashion, I know my stuff. Like I know what I do. I know I'm good at that. So if you tell me Yo, your style is good, I'm like, yeah, thank you. I'm, I really appreciate that because I'm very good at that. That's what I. That's all I'm passionate about. I love beauty, but I'm not passionate about doing makeup. That being said, where's this channel going towards? Just so I can clear up this topic, this channel is going towards fashion and vlogs, right? And I said to you guys before that my vlogs are going to be more. Um, I have to speak in them. I have to have a few sections in the vlogs where I'm talking about what's going on in the vlog. So it's not just like an empty vlog where you just sit down and watch. I kind of appreciate that you guys like the no ch ch chit chatting during the vlogs kind of thing. I really love those vlogs because I, I honestly hate talking during videos. I don't like talking videos at all. So those kind of vlogs where I don't speak are even much better for me. But I feel like it kind of makes sense to at least like build a sense of connection with you guys to be able to speak during my videos i think it will just make more sense that way so yeah i think that's where this my channel is going towards i'm going to make vlogs where i actually have like the whole thing minimal but portions of it where i speak about what's going on in the vlog so you guys don't feel a bit lost you know what i mean so yeah anyways those are the only two, two things i'm narrowing my channel down to fashion and vlogs if i do chit chat videos where i sit down like this it will just be maybe get ready with me so where at the end of the thing i'll still show you fashion stuff so everything will be revolving around fashion and just my vlogs you know what i mean so yeah anyways long story short that's what i wanted to clarify on that basis so next thing to do with my hair is that's not where my gist has ended though i have more gist <laughs> just in case you guys are wondering so yeah i like to use actually i i would prefer to use this but let me show you what I use instead to cut my baby hairs. So I always use this my um, Sephora razor. It's like a face razor that you use to cut your shave your face rather. So yeah, um, this is not all I'm doing for my baby hairs. Like I said, make sure you have that triangle in the corners because it just makes it look more natural because it gives you that Cupid's bow vibe. And then I have a mirror down here just in case you're wondering. When I'm on the sides, I don't just bring out hair from the side. I go in an, at an angle down this way, like 
step at an angle downwards, right? That's what I do in, in the corners. And look at how much hair I brought out. You don't have to bring out too much hair. Like I said, I already plucked this week. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. I was thinking I don't want to, I didn't want to wear this wig or like or this week, but it's looking like I'm gonna wear this wig out. I just don't like wearing over like my I don't like my hair being too full when I'm outside. I don't like wearing hair that's too full. Um for lack of better words to say. So yeah. I'm just going to use my hot comb. Everything you do when you're doing baby hairs, try to work with a hot comb because it actually makes the process so much easier. Okay, so um, now that I've plucked out my baby hairs, uh, we're going to go into the next discussion. I wrote down all the things I want to talk about. Okay. So in my last video, right, I did talk about a few things that were very touchy topics that to be honest one of my friends came to me and she was like she kind of like mm, called me out on something that i said which i appreciate but at the same time like i was also mentioning that i didn't have bad intentions when i said what i said so if you remember if you've not seen my last video um you probably don't know what i'm talking about but let me just explain and expand sheets okay so in my last video i mentioned oh i was talking about like different topics and i at some point brought up you know how black women are not really represented in all these reality tv shows in the uk especially in love island it was love island i was talking about in particular sorry let me just cut this back to teaching you guys how to do baby hairs when you're cutting your baby hairs you don't cut it too short because the moment you cut it it cannot go back <laughs> so make sure you're cutting it short but not too short just make sure that when you soup it like if you can hold it and try to soup it and see what it looks like when you soup so you want to make sure that when you soup it like it goes from being cut from here all the way to the end so when i'm cutting it i cut here and then i cut it as i keep going i keep cutting so the back should be longer than the front that's what i'm trying to explain i don't know why i cannot just use that same english i just use now so the back should basically be shorter than the front so that when you're souping it everything is going in that direction okay so yeah back to my discussion about like how seeing women black women are not really represented that was in my last video right so apparently during the video not apparently i actually said this during the video i was talking about how the black guys that they bring on the shows as well they're more interested in white girls than they are in black girls and this was just a random statement i made because like based off i was talking based off what i had seen on the show so it wasn't like me being insensitive in the way that i'm just saying it's randomly this actually happened on the show so um because of that i also mentioned something where i made statements which i'm not going to repeat because i feel like they're actually hurtful statements so during the video i said something about one of the girls that um was on the show and i as she's a white girl i just made a random statement about her her you know features which apparently i didn't know it was a sensitive topic that like in my head i wasn't thinking in that way because what i was discussing about was black women and being on the like on the loved or on the expressed during all those tv shows so in my mind i wasn't thinking about what i was saying i was just saying it randomly as a statement just to support the fact of what i was saying so i said something really hurtful and i'm not proud of that so to be honest i'm just rethinking really the g because i don't really enjoy sitting down gisting and gossiping about people because it's not really my type of thing to do so anyways um i'm doing the same thing here but if you see i'm cutting from the back forward so you cut the back forward because you want the front to be longer than the back you want the front to be longer than the back so when you soup everything goes backwards okay to go back so yeah anyways i've cut the baby hairs on the front here and i'm gonna cut on the sides as well also i made statements about like people losing weight and all of that and being bigger on the bigger side and how we should stop like um promoting people being overweight that is not nice to them is unfair to them i don't know if some people took it personal but well, i just want to explain that in my like in my statements what i was trying to say actually no nobody really commented on this nobody really said anything wrong about what i said in that direction but like i'm just trying to reiterate so it doesn't look like i said it in an insensitive way so basically like when i said that i did not say go ahead and you saw people that are, that are on the bigger side because you don't know what people are passing through you don't know what 
they're going to you don't know if they're taking if they're on meds if you know what's happening is making them on the bigger side what i just said is let's stop celebrating people looking overweight like there are people that are clearly overweight and you can see this is not like all these people that are on the bigger side and we're saying you know, plus size models i'm talking about people that are overweight that you can clearly see are overweight like you know when you see somebody that's overweight you know let's be honest so the thing is I'm not saying we should go ahead and bash these people that are overweight, but we love like correct them. And even being skinny is not something that people enjoy. I know people that are skinny and they don't, they wish they had more body, more, more fat on their bodies. So either way, whether big or small, the point I'm trying to make is that let's stop supporting over being overweight. I have no right to talk about this topic. I have no right to talk about anorexia or over being overweight. But all I can say is like let's stop. Um, supporting the act of uh, people overeating and telling them oh you look great in that body size when you clearly know that that's not nice because at the end of the day it's their health that is degrading and they're going to get into like have more health issues than they would have if they were living a healthy lifestyle if you know what i mean i don't mean it in a terrible way so that's just that and that's the last time i'm going to be doing any gossiping chit chat video and just just to let you guys know so it's not that when you're coming on g central you're expecting something wild to, to hear okay <laughs> the problem here is not even about like not knowing what to on g central anymore the problem now is how can i infuse what i love doing or what i love teaching or what i love talking about into my g centrals without making it boring because i know that it's not everybody wants to hear me talk about fashion like not everybody is crazy crazy into fashion but like i can definitely like include fashion which is like a big part of my life into my videos which i would love absolutely love to so if at any point you see a g central which will not be often anymore if at any point you see a G Central video, just know that it's a video that includes something that has to be fashion or just, you know, updating you on my current life. Maybe if you guys ask me questions on Instagram, I'll come on here and answer because I want to take my Instagram more on the professional side. When you are a brand, when you as a person, you become a brand, there's certain things you can't just randomly say to the public because to be honest with you, when I when Instagram disabled my account for a whole month, right? Um, I realized people don't give a shit about you. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, people don't give a shit about you. What they give a shit about is what you're offering them. So from for me, for example, like I offer people fashion styling on Instagram, right? So I'm basically like someone that some people I even look at my own videos when I want to get ready and go out so like i look at my outfits that i've worn before and get inspiration from that so like i'm that person that i'm one of the people i'm not that person i'm one of the people that people come to and say oh let me see what she wore let me see how what i'm buying next and how i'm going to style what i'm buying so that thing i'm offering them is a sense of style right so the thing here is when i'm no longer there to offer it guess what people do they will look for somebody else to replace me and it is a fact of life because you cannot, you can't leave, you can't be doing something as a job and then, you know, you leave your work. Which, which uh, owner of the business is going to allow you to do that? You leave your work for one whole month and then you've not done anything in regards to your work and you expect to come back and, you know, everybody will see you at face value. It's not the same. It doesn't work that way. So that's the thing with creating. Like, the moment you take a break from creating, just know in your head that so many people are going to forget you, so many people unfollow you, so many people be like, damn, she's not here to give me content anymore. So whatever, I'm out. So the moment I came back from, you know, the disabling break that Instagram gave me that I didn't ask for, by the way, and I actually started creating content again, I realized my followers started dropping like crazy. And I was like, damn, like, I'm even trying to post, like, why are people unfollowing me? And I just did, my friends, so many of my friends said, yeah, because like, you've been absent, so, like you should kind of understand that people are subscribed to you people don't give a shit about you except your friends right like your friends will check in on you they will say ah where's the talk where has she gone where has she been like what's she up to like what's going on in her life but anybody that doesn't know you personally they don't they don't give two shit about whether you're passing through depression or not like the highest category is oh sorry like and not everybody reads your your captions if i'm being honest so i my cousin was telling me and she was like to be honest with you, people don't give a shit about you as a person. 
what they give I mean some people do, don't get me wrong, some people that have actually built a connection with you give a shit about you as a person. But like more what of what they give a shit about is what you offer. Because if you dip this, when me I'm a, I'm I'm on YouTube as well, so I've been on YouTube for a while as well. All the times I take breaks, the moment I come back, I realize my views drop a lot, right? And that's because when you're not there consistently to offer what people are there for, um yeah, they're gonna forget about you because you're just one out of the many people, many billions of people that they are coming across on YouTube. And Instagram, YouTube has this way of like bringing up new people to, you see on your plat on your screen, you know, to, to suggest new people for you to see, check out their stuff. The moment somebody checks out another person's channel and sees that, yo, this person's channel is actually giving me what I want to see, and they start watching that person's videos. And you guys create the same style of thing or the same similar thing. Yes, you brought out the same, but guess what? <laughs> You're creating the same style of content. So the point is, if they find a replacement for you, you are going to be replaced, whether you like it or not. That's the point I'm trying to make. So whenever you're taking breaks on social media, this is something you need to be careful about. Whenever you're taking breaks on social media, always realize that the people don't care about you. They care about what you're giving them. So if you're not going to be there to give them that content, just know that you're going to be forgotten or when you come back, you will lose so many followers, okay? And that's okay. For me, I was stressing about, about it a bit before initially, but I was like, you know what? Damn, like if people, if people are unfollowing, they did not genuinely follow me for anything. Like, I get it. Like, if you see that I'm back and I'm genuinely posting now, what's your point of unfollowing? No reason. So anyways, like I can let them go because I don't care really. Like people that are actually there to see the new content I'm putting out will be there. Anyways, this is what I'm using my small travel size this thing. I've always had this before this whole coiling thing started. So you go in with your hot uh what's this thing called again? Flat iron. You go in with your flat iron and you just basically curl up your baby hairs. It just makes it so much easier when it comes to swooping them to be able to swoop them down. So let me just do it. Okay, so now that everything is here and intact, wow, looking very gingery with this hair as well. I think I prefer this hair color to that ginger one that I had on before. I don't know if you guys saw me in my ginger hair color. That hair was beautiful. It's beautiful. I still have it, but the thing is, I don't think that's a daily hair. This one is more like something that you can wear out on a daily basis, I think. That's what I think. I don't know about you guys. That's what I think. So yeah, with my baby has I like to use my hair mousse. And before I stopped using hair mousse, because I was just like, I mean, I don't know that kind of stress. Too much stress, put hair mousse, not because I'm putting hair gel. But to be honest, hair mousse is very, oh, this thing just hurt me. It's very, very important because when you want to frame your baby hair, some people just use only hair muscle because they don't like the baby hairs looking glued down. So this helps you frame your baby hairs properly. Just for those people that are wondering how people do baby hairs. So this really does frame your baby hairs and make sure you get one that has no alcohol in it because the alcohol is going to dissolve your baby your glue that you used to glue down your hair. If you don't know how to install your wigs by the way, I know so many hair installation videos that I think at this point you guys are probably going to kill me if I drop on that installation video because it's it's a bit too much now. But anyways, um, after having that conversation with my cousin, I really opened my eyes to so just realize that you, I'm here for a short time, um, and I have to make use of my time. So I'm using my hair mousse, by the way, to brush it down, brush my baby hands down. I always start from the front and then brush the rest to the back. You can start from the back and brush the front. Also, people that like plenty, plenty baby hairs, what I just demonstrated now is for you. If you don't like plenty, plenty baby hairs, you might want to just reduce how much quantity of baby hairs you put in front. Me, I don't even like this many baby hairs, I can't really lie. But um, that's what the hair is giving. But I don't know if you guys have other topics you want me to talk about, especially when it comes to fashion. Like, I want to really know what I can do to impact people fashion wise because i really love fashion and i know how to style people so too so if i can if you guys want something in particular that you want me to teach on how to style for example this one is like how i'm styling my hair 
to match my outfit which you see the bit but yeah um if you guys have like particular things you would like me to teach you fashion wise i already have a bunch of things written down which i'm going to be you know introducing in a little bit like on my channel to teach you guys because if you're here and i'm not giving you content what's the point of being here just what i explained earlier on there's no point being here i'm going to give content so I might as well give you content the kind of content i enjoy creating so i enjoy creating fashion content and that's what i'm going to give you and i'll do it wholeheartedly because i know that it's something i enjoy doing if i don't enjoy something i would find it so difficult creating content in that direction so yeah um update on my life before i finish up with this video wrap up this video updates on my life I have been mentally um what's the word I've been mentally fluctuating a lot has been happening in my life I've had like good times I've had bad times mostly bad times mentally oh no actually i would say mostly good times recently I've been riding bikes a lot lately and let me tell you it helps my mental health like it's literally a drug for my mental health if i'm being honest just riding and feeling free in the wind feeling like nobody is touching you like you don't want anybody shit like you're just riding taking in nature oh my gosh i cannot express how much riding bicycles has really like improved my mental health lately um i'm kind of sad because summer is going to come to an end soon and i will not have that privilege of riding bicycles outside anymore because during winter ain't nobody riding a bicycle with you baby it's gonna be so freaking cold you you will not even think of bicycle actually they're not bicycles like for rent in winter because like they only come back in april and leave in like november so yeah there will be no bicycles for rent except you have your own bicycle and you're willing to ride in the snow which nobody is because the snow here is not there's nothing to write home about <laughs> it's not to be so anyways yeah i am really enjoying my bike rides and since i moved into my apartment the reason why people have not seen more apartment videos for me as well is because since i moved into my apartment i have not got any new like piece, furniture pieces like i'm such see i'm very into interior decor right but i am such an undecided person like I feel like that's why this field of, of work is not it might not really be for me because I'm very undecided. Like I, I can really want something. I want to style my apartment a certain way, but I'll see something else and be like, this will actually look so much better. And I already like have designed the whole thing in my head, what it will look like. But then I'll now start deconstructing and reconstructing different ideas in my head from there. It will take like five years to do. So bear with me as I start like getting things together slowly you know for my apartment and fixing stuff i mean i'll keep you guys in the loop for sure between like moving videos which is crazy because i'm not moving anymore but you know i'm packing and all those little knickknacks bits and bobs but yeah that's what's been happening in my life that's why i've not shown you guys so many vlogs really recently and i'm trying to upgrade my camera i'm trying to upgrade, upgrade my lenses i'm trying to upgrade different things so that my quality can actually stand out again because to be honest the quality of my camera currently is absolutely shitty and i cannot even lie i absolutely hate it it makes me not want to create content like it really does discourage me so much from creating content so some of these times when you see i'm not creating content because i've actually shot content but i just don't like how it's come out i really don't like it so for me I'm such a perfectionist, which I don't know if some of you know already. I'm such a perfectionist, and it's just lots to you know edit and post something I'm not comfortable watching, rewatching. Because right now, the most recent videos I've, I've shot, I've, I can go go but comfortably go back and rewatch them and feel comfortable about watching them, and not feel like I'm forcing myself to watch them because I actually do enjoy watching them. See, I'm gonna tie that on my baby hairs because I want them to stay in place before I. Put them. Oh, yeah. before I put any hair glue on it, I should have untied this thing. So yeah, mm, that's where it's been with me lately and my shenags of a lifestyle. <laughs> I don't know how you, guys, how you guys have been doing, I hope you guys are doing okay. I know it's almost back to school season, so 
just know that there's going to be a few style videos for back to school so get yourself like ready for those because i'm gonna be showing you guys outfits you can wear to school this season you know what i mean so yeah um while these baby hairs are setting in place they shouldn't take long to be honest while they're setting in place i'm going to charge my battery and come back <laughs> when it's done setting in place I'll come back and wrap up this video in a few days. Okay. Okay, we stopped at doing my baby hairs. I'm gonna just do a review of my baby hairs because I don't remember what it looks like right now. Let's see. Oh, it actually came out so much better than I thought. I might be looking a bit bald in the middle of my head. Anyways, yeah, I remember what I was talking about, and yes, the baby hairs were part of it, but I want to wrap up this section of the video by saying actually while i'm doing packing my hair and styling it i want to figure out how to style it it's either i do a side a center part or i pack this part up i think either way it will look really nice even packing it up is actually nice as well you know just thinking about this hair again i don't know if i'm going to wear it out tomorrow when i wipe up my face because i don't like wearing makeup every day i don't even like wearing makeup in the first place so um when I wrap my, my makeup off, I'll see if I want to wear this hair tomorrow. If I don't want to wear it out, then I'll pull back the other hair that I had on. Until I do my next hair review. Because I really don't like wearing hair that will be so stressful to wear in the morning. Or to style in the morning. But it seems like this one is easy to kind of blend into my, my brain. <laughs> but yeah, the baby hairs came out well. That was what I was supposed to do, you guys. And actually succeeded i didn't even end up using any hair gel so i'm thinking hair mousse is so much easier to use than hair gel because it, it's not sticky you can wipe it off easily you can even brush it off if you want to i mean it's not really my thing to brush it off but i like it stuck down i don't want to wear wings blowing, blowing it around so yeah like my last thing i was going to say before i start my hair is in regards to with regards in regards with regards with regards to my previous G centrals where I was talking a lot about relationships, my cousin said something to me. She she basically like made sure I realized this. So um if you know if you've been following me for a while, you know that I say this a lot. I've never been in a relationship before. Like a relationship where it's like they say, Oh, we're boyfriend, girlfriend. No, I've never been in that. I've only been in situationships most of my life and it's not fun being in a situation because you don't exactly know where you stand the thing is yes you know that you like this person the person likes you back right but at the end of the day you guys are not official like people might know okay they're exclusive but nobody knows that you are in a relationship i mean people might think oh in a relationship but there's no tag on it so there's nothing really like a breakup and for me, if I'm being very honest with you, that has worked for me for time. I'm, I know that I'm not looking to get married to this person anytime soon. So what is the point of, you know, not being sure? I'm sorry, I'm looking for my hair bubble. Oh, I can't find it. What is the point of basically turning yourself, oh my God, where is my hair bubble? Okay, so I found my hair bubble. This is it by the way. So basically how I put my hair is that tie like three hair bubbles together and then I use a hair, hair bobby pin to hold it when I'm done packing so just in order to not give myself a headache I'm gonna try to release the bit so yeah um the gist is basically I've been giving you guys you know my gist about relationships what not to do how to date how to shoot your shots what in retrospect I've never been in an actual relationship like have you actually dipped that i have and my cousin dipped it and she was like dudes come on like you know that you've not been in a relationship like in a proper relationship so like when you give people advice like obviously people want to get advice from someone that's been in a relationship someone that has been in a relationship that has worked and or not worked or you know just has had experience to some extent and i'm not one of those people i have not had any experience to any extent oh my gosh i love how this hair is coming out it's actually really cute oh my gosh so cute 
I think I'm going to wear this hair for a while. Yeah, I'm going to wear it for a while. But anyways, um, yeah, she's basically just calling me out on that, and I appreciate that she called me out on it. And you know, I'm taking the advice, and my relationship advice is going to have to stop because I really can't be giving relationship advice when I really have not experienced being in a relationship before, or I don't even have an idea if the advice I'm giving works. I just talk based on what people have said as well. And it's just kind of unfair to people that are listening to me because it's like you're taking advice from someone that doesn't have the experience. So if it doesn't work for you, it's almost like I'm giving you false advice and I don't want to be that person that does videos where oh by the way, just put in some handles just to make sure everything lays flat. But yeah, um I don't want to be that person that does videos on how to do something when they don't know how to do it. Just like me teaching how to style clothes when I have no idea how to style clothes. Like, isn't that, isn't that bonkers? That is so stupid. So I'm gonna be honest and respect myself, respect the boundaries I have with what I talk about, my professionality. It's not my professional profession to give relationship advice. I'm not a relationship expert. I'm not a relationship um, coach. So I'm gonna just respect myself and not give advice in that direction anymore. If you want advice on that, I definitely know Brimmy Lee does a lot on relationships and I definitely say like, you can check out her channel. So for me, that's not my thing anymore. And I really sincerely, I'm sorry if I have der this derailed anybody in that direction. Um, I'm calling myself out now. I'm taking full responsibility for my actions. I do not intend to shoot in relationship content except let's see I am experiencing it or I've experienced it and I'm like okay cool this is what I've learned this is what I've not learned but yeah how single life been for me single life has been I honestly speaking this this video has been everywhere but you know what this is kind of like a catch up single life for me has been a little bit lonely if I may say so myself it's been quite lonely but at the same time I'm getting to, you know, I mean, I've, I've experienced being around my own self for a while now, I mean, all my life. So, like, I've been in situationships where, like, you know, obviously I've been around people that I really care about and all that. But for the past three years, I have honestly not met somebody that has made me feel... I mean, I've met a few people, but they just not made me feel safe and or feel like... I'm loved basically. Oh, I'm in a relationship kind of vibes. Like, I've not seen, I've not met someone that I see a potential future with in the past three years. Like, I've not seen, talked to, or met anyone that I see a potential relationship with in the future or anything. So, for me, right now, I'm still exploring the market. And let me just, that's it for the last three years. Sorry, for the past. 28, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, for the past four years of my life, basically since I moved here, I have not, not once met someone that has really like, or seen or talked to someone that has really made me feel like, okay, I kind of see a future with this person. I have not met that one person. So for me, it's, it's been a lost cause at the moment. <laughs> And mind you, I'm 25. Like, I'm actually 25. For flip sake, I'm 25 years old. And I feel so lost in the relationship world. I literally feel like a child. I feel like I don't know anything about relationships. I feel like I'm lost. So, in that direction, I'm kind of still trying to find myself. Oh my gosh, I love this hair. I'm going to wear this hair out tomorrow. I don't even give two shits. Like, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's actually so beautiful. I hope it looks this nice tomorrow morning. Before I wake up, I'm looking at the mad person. But anyways, yeah, um, I really have not um, experienced being in a proper relationship and it really sucks because I feel like I could do so much better. But mind you, COVID has been a big, major, major, major um, affecto. Affecto? Is that even a word? a major influence covid has been a major influence on my situation i can't even lie because i could have been in, in a much better situation relationship wise but i've just not had i won't call it luck i don't call relationships luck relationship is not luck or it's not something that has to do with luck it's like 
it's, a, it's almost like a blessing basically if you're in a relationship that's functional that is like perfect or that is working basically don't jeopardize it for silly things that will just last you in a moment because at the end of the day it's not worth it so for me i've just not found that person and to be honest with you you guys know the last time i talked about <laughs> last time i talked about the people i'm interested in, the type of men i'm interested in oh let's actually talk about that or should i just leave it for a different video i think i should leave it for a different video because i've already finished this um hair and i want to have gist for the next video I don't want to, like I said, I don't talk about relationships anymore, but I, I think I'll just include those like once in a while in my videos just so you can spice it up a little bit, you know, just the sweets. And to be honest with you, it's just fun kind of connecting people on that level of like, you're a human, I'm a human, we experience the same thing, so yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know, my relationship life has been dead, I can't even lie. It can be much better. I mean, I'm starting to see more people because I'm going out more now. <laughs> oh, this is my city. My city is such a weird place to be. It's filled with more people that are more on the homosexual side than the heterosexual side. I mean, men-wise. You see... <laughs> Father Lord. I'm telling you, you'll be going through a whole street like this filled with guys and you'll just be like, damn. So none of these people are straight here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> For me, I have not found that one person. And yeah, like I said, oh my gosh, I keep floating around in so many ways. So I was talking about how like, um, you guys know how, I don't remember if you know the video I'm talking about, where I was saying kind of men that I'm into. So lately, that option has kind of expanded, which I'm going to expand shit on in my next video because, sorry, my next G Central, because that's not something I want to dive into right now my options have kind of like increased in that aspect so yeah pray for me guys pray for me pray for me it's not easy but we'll get through it so yeah let me wrap up this video thank you so much okay so this brings us to the end of this video like i said i'm going to talk about anything else i need to talk about in my next g central video this is what this hair is looking like it's so pretty i love the way i packed it i love that the front can get flat enough for you to pack it because some of these weeks the front is never like you can't especially when it's curly hair it's very hard sometimes to actually tame it to the point where you can pack it flat both firm like can you see how flat it is i didn't even put any product all i did was just put this to kind of like lay down on the fly rays. i didn't do anything i didn't use any product i didn't brush it i didn't comb it i didn't do anything i just you just saw me do this this was all i did actually this was comb it but like this was literally all i did also before i leave another tip for having your baby hairs look good or having your hair look good if you want baby hairs on them or if you put baby hairs on them is to have put more baby hairs like the more baby hairs like the fuller the volume of baby hairs the more realistic kind of looks because it hides most of the lace and that's one thing i realized recently from watching arnel's video and she was explaining i was like oh i should actually try this and it did it does work like every single time that i make my baby hairs more i add more baby hairs to the sides like it actually looks more natural and this is the style of baby hairs that fits my hairline because i have a very male like hairline that is like this and i also have a square forehead so it kind of like suits it really does suit my hair for my face structure so yeah like do what suits you some people like doing so many swoops i don't do a lot of swoops just swoop here swoop here i'm good like i actually look great like that so yeah um this hair like i told you guys Sorry if you've seen all these dots, it's from my hot comb. <laughs> you know what I mean, if you have a hot comb, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, this hair is from Julia Hair and inside this box, you guys know that towards the end of the video is always when I talk about the company itself. So I'm going to obviously put, bring out, show you guys my outfits, which is in the next portion of this video. So now we just quickly give you guys a rundown of what came in the box before we go ahead to do my outfit. If you want to go ahead to um, watch the outfit. I'm going to obviously put timestamps so you can see where the outfit I'm wearing for today is. So yeah, this is the box it came in. Sorry if it's a bit overpowering like the light and all. But yeah, inside the box, this is from Julia here obviously. Inside the box you have this 
with some lashes, some uh, like a brush, face brush. I probably have like three of these already. And I don't know why they gave me two of these, but these are like elastic bands that you can use to hold down your baby hairs. I'm probably going to give these away to, to my hair clients. It came with this wig cap and also it came with like a wig bag and that bag is like, I used to do something else so perfect, that's why it's not here. So yeah, that's pretty much all it came with and then, oh yeah, it came with some um, wig bald caps. So to be honest, it's a full package because you don't need much. I wish there was like a hairbrush for brushing down baby hairs but it doesn't come with that. I'm guessing everybody has that already. I don't think it's necessary for every hair brand to put that in because most people already have it so yeah that's pretty much what came in this box and yeah we're going to hop right into styling my outfit and showing you guys what I'm wearing and um, yeah I really hope it goes well. Do this I'll see you in my next Central. Okay, so I'm getting ready now. I'm not going anywhere because it's already like 11 p.m. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going anywhere. I'm just showing you my outfits because I'll show you guys like a montage of the outfit. It's not going to be with the same hair, but um, bear with. It's basically the outfit I'm wearing right now. I'm just getting ready. So this is the dress. If you follow my Instagram, you know I've linked it before. This is a dress, it's so beautiful. I think if I'm going anywhere, it's probably for a wedding with this kind of outfit. It's really adorable, so cute. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely see you in my next vlog. Bye! Mira, sabe mi sentimiento, siente mi amor. No me dejes sufrir, mamá, quita mi dolor.